Okay, so where we left off in the last video is we just gave I just gave you a bunch of theorems and we just we just went through these arguments to to ask ourselves if they are valid or invalid. And I'm pretty sure you're clear with that. In this video, what we're gonna have here is we're gonna have these arbitrary open statements and we're gonna have this argument and what we're gonna try to find is uh, the we're gonna try to list the reasons for for this argument being being true. So we're gonna try to find the reasons for having having this first first statement and this second statement and ending with therefore all Rx's and Sx. So uh, let's start. I already gave you all the steps. Now you just have to figure out the reasons. Now I'm pretty sure that for the first reason, again, if you haven't done this already, then please pause the video uh, and try yourself. Then come back to the video and look at the answers because. You're only hurting yourself if you don't do it that way. If you do it yourself first and check your answers later, you're, you could help yourself a whole lot by learning what the heck you're actually doing. So, again, here we go. Uh, the first reason for this statement is, well, it's given, it's a premise. Second one, it's a premise, it's given. Now this third one is when it gets a little bit tricky. We take an element A from some universe and plug it in and this will give us the true statement because this is saying that for all x's, px implies qx and rx. So if you plug in an a in there, then an arbitrary statement, this is true, so this must also be true. So that is using one and the rule of universal specification. And number four, that's also using the rule of universal specification because we're just plugging in that a to that second statement. So now that we have that, uh, what we can do here is we could use PA and SA. That's pretty much PA. And how do I get that? Well, for five, what happened here is we use this, we use four. We use four and the rule, now I'm just gonna write this out, rule of conjunctive simplification. Now, you're asking where the heck did I get conjunctive simplification maybe, but I'm just going to answer that by, it's one of those laws of logic that I that I listed, oh, well I think it was the laws of logic, there are so many laws that I don't know which one they were, but I think it's one of those rules of logic, well, anyway, they're one of those laws of logic or rules of logic that I went through in one of my past videos, and I probably didn't go through this one in depth, that's why you might not remember it, but it's there. So if you just look back in your notes, then you might find it. So QA and RA. What we have here, uh, 6 uh, QA and RA. So that would be uh, 6, that would be 5 and 3. And that will be more exponents now wondering why my pen is freaking out at the moment. Work. Modus ponens. So 5 and 3. So yeah, using PA implies QA and RA. We have PA, therefore QA and RA. It's 5 and 3 modus ponens. Now for 7, what we have here is we have, we're using 6. We're using 6 and what we're going to use here is we're just going to use a rule all of conjunctive simplification. So QA and RA, RA goes both ways. So for eight, for eight we have four. We're using four and we're using the rule of conjunctive simplification. So now we have all these single uh, statements or single open statements. So for the ninth step, for RA and SA, we're going to use um, 7 and 8 and the rule of conjunction, which is different from conjunctive simplification, rule of conjunction. So what we ended up with is we have RA, SA, we ended up with the RA and SA, therefore we can get this AX, RX, and SX by doing 9. And the rule of universal general rule of universal gen generalization and that's all the reasons for all these steps of going from this statement and that statement 
to define to finding out that last statement that we're looking for. Therefore, all for all x is rx and sx. So that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you learned something, and I hope I made it rather quick. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again.